Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be testing out some AI programs. I, th I saw these going around, so I thought I'd try it myself. It looked pretty interesting. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so we got a blank canvas here. So I'm just going to play with our, I'm just going to play around with it and see what happens. So if I transfer that to which is a filled thing. So what I can do is I can put C and then just like do that. And I can even fill that with some clouds. Or the brush. See if it'll generate it for me. See what that looks like. Wow. Oh, okay, I'm a wow. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Not only did it generate the water and the clouds for me, it even formed a path like on its own. What? Wow, that's crazy. I'm gonna try some more. With, I'm gonna try some more stuff with this. There's like a way to reset it. Oh, oh, let me see. Uh -huh. So basically, if I refresh the page, it'll reset the canvas. I try something. I think I can put like a random tree just sprouting out. Sprouting out here. Let's we'll see how advanced this is. Not bad. If I try that. Yeah, and it it's crazy. You see uh, I kinda wanna try something complex. Looks like you go through and make like any type of landscape, really. So I could even make a snowy Fill that in. Oh, okay, so I got an idea. Let's see just how like diverse it could be. Hmm. Oh, it's okay. You can kind of see there it's, it kind of struggles to like replicate a like a snowy mountain. Like as you can see here, I put snow. So it can't really replicate a like a mountain with snow on it. Interesting. Okay, that's not bad though. Try a simple. See if I can make a garden. Let's see what happens. Okay, that's pretty good actually. Nice looking tree, it's flowers, and the grass. I did it like, oh wow, okay. A one to one, like, oh, interesting. So there's definitely there's some things that can't be replicated fully, but for the most part, I mean, I'm impressed. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. All right, on to the next one. So now for auto draw. Okay, so this one's a bit different. So basically this one is this one is supposed to detect what you're drawing and then automatically, like if you, you can put like a sketch and then it'll automatically draw it for you. So let me see. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so it just detects it as it knows. And, oh, I guess that makes sense, okay. And then you can choose the nose and draws it for you. Oh, okay. So if I put a mouth under it, uh, let's put like a there and a, oh, okay, so that doesn't, it's not that, okay. Let's take that away. Kind of want to see if it'll like, if it'll detect like a whole face. Oh, okay. Wow. Smiley face. <laughs> Okay, it even has variations of smiley faces. Wow, that's interesting. So you could probably get it to detect like an animal as well. So like, draw like any animal. Uh, let's see, let's go bird. Uh, it does, I didn't even have to put the feet in. Boom. That's not bad. Hmm. So could I like draw a sword and like, it probably would detect a sword. I mean, it's pretty simple to be honest. It's a nice simple sword. 
and oh oh wait no it's over here but it wasn't the first guesses so it's like it's guessing a whole multitude of things like oh it could be this this that 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 this and like oh maybe it's a sword so it's like an algorithm basically it'll just show up like what about look okay so it's similarity okay that's so what if I like copied that design of the sword? So that sword was like, yeah, okay, interesting. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed by this one too. There's shoes, items, all types of things. I haven't tried food yet though. Now food. So could I draw pizza and it'll pizza pizza. Put pepperoni on it it can oh interesting wow that's <laughs> that's fun that's pretty fun i'm not gonna lie what about a bowl of food or will it it'll probably just detect the bowl though like which is this bowl we put some stuff in it like oh there's stuff in here i did see like a bowl come like that that came up but it wasn't the first one which was weird well it's not perfect of course but you know it's still it's still very interesting because we ended off with the light bulb lamp light bulb okay that's pretty cool yeah it's definitely interesting let's go on to the next one okay so this is a face recognition type thing type of ordeal so basically what this is supposed to do is this takes like the basic face shape and turns in okay so let's see so there's examples here and i'm gonna go off of oh yeah so it's basic shapes or basic hmm. oh okay wow the amount of detail it puts in, that's crazy. I guess just boom, boom. Probably go with, okay, hold on. Go with some hair. Oh, wow. You know, I wonder, does it have to be just a humanoid like face? I could probably upload just a random like, uh, hmm, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> if I get somebody huge eyes, what happened? Oh, it just doesn't. Okay. Interesting. Can I get somebody jewelry? Oh, no, that doesn't work. Huh. That would have been insane if I could, though. I make it longer. If I can't give them, I can't give somebody jewelry. It's interesting. Hmm. I mean, hey, that's not bad. But the eyes are dead. <laughs> He has the recovered little eyes. It's pretty cool though. Not bad. All right, on to the next one. Okay, so basically what this is, is a monster generator. So I can make like some type of dragon or something. So what does this do? Oh, there's different ones that you can, interesting. So let me see, I'm gonna. Um, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I don't, I don't Yeah, I gotta be simpler with the, um, the shades. If I clear this out, maybe I can do like a whole face.
kind of want to see what that looks like. Let's see. Oh. I can probably make like a snake type animal or monster. that comes out too okay okay so that okay that's way more interesting so it just depend okay so it has to be like a dynamic type of shape yeah because that look like it could be like some kind of an ancient type of like oversized snake that like went extinct or something like that you know yeah for the most part that's that's pretty cool yeah well, if you enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like and leave a comment. I'll really appreciate it. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty fun testing out these AI programs. It was interesting to see what they could do. Some of the functionalities caught me by surprise. I was pretty impressed. If you like my content, feel free to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. I'll see you in the next one.